All right, how's it going, guys? Con Artist here. Welcome back to some more Bad End. So in the last episode, we made some more right choices, and now as we are starting up this episode, our buddy Konami is calling us. So let's see what the fuck he wants. That's unusual. Konami never calls me out of the blue like this. We exchanged phone numbers a long time ago, but we hardly ever call each other. Hello? Hello, Q. Do you have any plans today? I wonder what he wants. Judging by the sound of his voice, is he inviting me out somewhere? I intend to play Bad End sometime today. I guess I can wait until later. I want to meet up with you and have lunch. I have a good place in mind. Uh, sure. Okay. He's probably just worried about me and wants to see me in person. He obviously thinks that I'm not over Yuji's death yet. I met Konami in junior high, but I've known Yuji a lot longer. But since he took the time to invite me, I should take him up on his offer. What did you have in mind? It's a small place by a local train station. It's not far at all. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, meet me at... What? Why'd it cut off? Well, meet me at what? Then, at about 11, I met up with Konami at a, the appointed meeting place in the station square. We boarded the local train and got off at the intended destination. After following Konami a short while, we eventually arrived at the restaurant. Oh, what the... Wait... This looks like the same restaurant. This looks like the same restaurant as in the actual game Bad End. That the girls are eating at. This looks like this. If they have the same stuff, we're about to have a deja vu moment here, boys. Welcome. Wow. I was surprised by what I saw. The uniform the waitress wore immediately caught my attention. It was very fancy and elegant in design. The uniforms were very short and bright color. The employees here were very young. They were probably hired based on their pretty looks. What do you think, Koo? You weren't kidding, this is really something. Haha. <laughs> I would think that you'd have, being class president and all, you wouldn't be into sort of thing. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> no, 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 I, I like this place a lot, bro. Hey, let's go. <laughs> it's the best around. We take a seat and took a sip of water to wet our throats. You're dressed rather formal for this place. What's up? Cut the crap. You know what this is about. I appreciate your concern for me, but I'm okay, seriously. It was a regrettable thing that happened, and pains me greatly. Regardless, I don't want to lose another classmate. Enough of that. Let's order something. Not only are the two waitress uniforms appealing, but the food is just good. Konami and I spent the time chatting it up while waiting for our orders to arrive. Even though I lost Yuji, I still have friends around to do this with. Our food came, and we immediately dug in. Are you going to have dessert? Of course, what do they have? I'm ordering this. I fucking knew it. He's ordering the special ultra motherfucking treat, boys. It has such a girly flair to it. The name, I mean. I really like these. What are you having? Let's see. I'll order. Wait. Something strange is going on. Something strange that feels very familiar. Too familiar. Special ultra treat. Where have I heard that before? Oh, so you have. So you're having the same thing. Um. Where did I hear that from? Fucking game, bro. <laughs> then it hit me. Didn't Bad End have something similar to this one in the scenarios? I'll have the special ultra treat, please. That's what Kana Mihashi ordered. What did Coco order at the same time? She ordered like the cheesecake. Ishtar original cheesecake. I glanced over at the menu and there it was. Ishtar original cheesecake. The same as in the game. This is getting fucking weird. Have you decided what you want yet? Konami said something to me, but I responded with a different question. What is the name of this place? Didn't you see the sign when we entered? It's called Ishtar. The restaurant's name is also on the front of the menu. See for yourself. Is Ishtar a franchise chain? I don't believe so. This place is one of a kind, and the only one that I know of... <gasps> what if those girls are real? What if they're real in real life? Oh, God. What if we're not playing a game? What if this isn't a game? According to the game, this is all so the case. It seems the game's settings and what I'm experiencing now are identical. I didn't realize it either until recently. In either case, it's a great place to unwind and grab a bite to eat. I see. This is strange. Why are the two so similar? I figured that maybe the game used this actual store for inspiration for the game's scenario location. Seriously, this can't be right. I was hit with an idea. I decided I wanted to walk around town for a while. I told Konami that after we walked out of the store, we said our goodbyes and parted ways. What if we're going to see the actual places that were in the game? Bad End is a game that is beyond human comparison or comprehension. 
Definitely one of a kind. I got its, it got its information from an actual restaurant. I can't believe that the game's company would use this particular place of all places. But what if it's not modeled after just the store? What if the entire area is the bat, is game setting for Bad End's world? Maybe the key to solving this game's mystery lies in this town. It was a strange coincidence indeed. I could just fathom being the truth. Here it is, too. This is... This place looks so familiar in the game. The streets where I stand now do come to mind when I think of the game's environment. Surely, Kawadu Uzaki came here to hook up with that guy here. The same night he had fled from the Cursed Shadow, or had fled from the Cursed Shadow from here. This all looks just like it did in the game. I wonder if there's other spots that look the same as in the game's town. There was a nearby police box and I decided to stop and ask. Excuse me, was there a shrine somewhere near here? A shrine? Yes, there's the tents. Oh my god, it's fucking the same one! Tenso Shrine, the place... Went extras. Go see if the old man's there. Ultimately ended in failure. They exist as well. Go see. How can I get there from here? Well, go that way, and when you get there, continues on. <laughs> if there is an old man there, I'm gonna freak. I was given directions to the Tenso Shrine. After thanking the officer, I headed towards the shrine. Finally, I arrived. Unbelievable. Everything I see is the same as in the game. This isn't just a coincidence. The town is an exact replica of Bad End. This, without a doubt, confirms it. But I wonder how the Shinto priest is. Shinto priest who performs the exorcism cost him his life trying to rid the world of the cursed shadow. Was he actually murdered in reality? Hello, shall I guide you, young man? A, the middle-aged man spoke in a calm, welcoming demeanor. The resemblance of the Hakama figure is uncanny. The staff resembles the game as well. Very last detail. Um, can I see the Shinto priest, please? That would be me. How can I help you with something? <laughs> Wait, so you are alive? What? No, sorry. I'm just thinking out loud to myself. Oh, you wouldn't happen to be talking about the previous priest, would you? The previous priest? Yes, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he passed away a few months ago. I am his successor. So the priest did die, just like what happened in the game. May I ask how he died? It seemed to be of a heart attack. His medical history was clean according to his locals and in finest health a few months ago. This is consistent with the time in it happened at Bad End. A chill runs through my body. So what business do you have with us? I will hear you out as if you wish. Well, I hear the Shinto priest here performs exorcisms. Exorcisms, hmm? Yes, most Shinto priests do perform these services as well. So is it true that I've heard that can make an actual barrier to keep a demon from attacking you? No, no, that's not how it works. The exorcism that a Shinto priest performs is a very formal affair. If the client's mind is relaxed enough, then that should be sufficient for a successful exorcism. Regardless, it isn't like what you see in the movies with the barrier and such. That's impossible and not how it works. The Shinto priest utters a laugh and shakes his head. It seems staying here longer would be a waste of time. Thank you for your help. Have a good day. Okay. Yo, this is fucking getting creepy. It seems the death of the Shinto priest in the game and here in the real world match up exactly. That definitely seems to be the case without a doubt. Somewhere among these con coincidences lies the key to solving the mystery of the game. I just know it. It's time to head back home. As these unexpected revelations continue to happen, they're certainly taking their toll on my tired body. I wasn't able to get a lot of information, but I decided to head home and rest up. You do that, young one. Are we not playing Bad End today? I tried some meditation to clear my mind and harness as much physical and spiritual strength I could muster before nightfall. It helped, but it didn't help with most confusion aspect of all. How was playing a game able to have a direct effect on the real world? Whew! I sit down in front of my PC to post an anonymous BBS board. As for what I'm going to write, it was what I have experienced bad end up until now. Come to think of it, I should have done this a lot sooner. It may help to tell other people and potentially shed some light in the mystery of the game. I start tapping the keys and spilling my thoughts throughout the key through the keyboard onto the BBS. I'm currently playing Bad End. I discovered the game's secrets. The game's setting is the same as an actual town in reality. Today I went to the town and found out by coincidence. I wonder what people will think about this. Some may just write it off as a joke. I submit the post regardless. Not even a second later, I couldn't believe what I saw. <laughs> My post text immediately translated to a bunch oh, of garbled characters. What the hell is this? I typed the message a second time and submitted it. The result was the same. I took a glimpse over at my mobile phone by instinct. Is it possible that bad ends prevent me from exposing secrets about the game via the net? It's certainly a possibility. Information that leads to the completion of this game would defeat the game's entire purpose. Let's see what happens if I upload a screenshot of the game taken with a digital camera. 
I don't intend to give up. I want players to see a screenshot of the game at least. I borrowed my dad's digital camera and started a bad end. I took a photograph of the game's opening screen, but the picture was blank. All it showed was a pitch black screen. I tried several times, but it resulted in the same thing. Bad end simply doesn't allow you to disclose any information about it. internet. Oh god. My heart felt like it was jumped out of my chest. The email timing was too good. Who? As I muttered to myself, I had a feeling I knew what it was about. Don't waste your time. Time seemed to freeze. I'm totally at a shock for words. I'm being completely censored from telling anyone about Bad End. I can't depend on the internet. It seems I have to clear the game all by myself without help. Otherwise, I might wind up getting killed. There's no way in hell I'm going to die. I suppress the urge to give in. I reluctantly reopen Bad End. Oh boy, oh. Hmm, classes are now over and it's after school. I was packing up and about to head home. Hey, do you want to hang out for a while? The boy from the other day called out to me. I didn't feel like dealing with him now. No, I can't. I'm not feeling so well. It's cool. Maybe some other time. The boy left and I couldn't help but feel ashamed. I've never declined something from a cute guy before. Tell me, Kuko. What? Do you really have no idea what you're being chased by that thing? No, I swear on my life I have absolutely no idea why this is happening. What if they go to a different school? Maybe you're missing the big pictures, something you aren't aware of yet. What do you mean? I think that has something to do with you. I mean, why else would you and you alone be pursued by someone or something? Stuff like that doesn't just happen, there's always a reason. Why? That's just the way it works in life. I see. So that's what you think. I kept mulling over every possibility in my head, but I couldn't think of a reason why I would be targeted. So why me, and for what reason? Wow. <laughs> Past relations, it's my beautiful looks, I don't have a clue. Well, we'll save here. All the, honestly, I'm probably going off of past relations. It's not our looks. It's 100% not our looks. <laughs> it's either I don't have a clue or past relationships. But anyways, guys, I'm probably going to end this episode off here. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. This has been Con Artist. I'll see you guys next time with some more Bad Ant. And yeah, peace out.